followed by the men 72 kg so we're with you for around eight hours straight today it's just 1 p.m local time on a monday here in mexico city and to get this competition underway for japan it is hiromi kabayashi the asian games bronze medalist from three years ago in Incheon. Good big Japanese squad here. She's going for 55 kg straight away. Group B this is, six enclosed and 13 competing overall. Kobayashi finished ninth in the last World Championships in 2014 in Dubai and 10th four years earlier when the World Championships were held in Kuala Lumpur. KG weight division. Rack. Slowly did it. Brilliant. And maybe too much so. Uh, two one against. So she'll have to come back and consider it again. Missing out at 55, and I will elect to go for that again. Japanese team coached by John Amos, who's head of the World Power Powerlifting Technical Committee. Thank you. The girls moved to 58 kilos for their first attempt from Thailand. With Tierra Chaito. Next to go for Thailand with Tahira Jaiton, who's going for 58 kg, her first major championship at the age of 36. First time weight, so due to go up to 95. And then obviously even greater weight anticipated and when we reach group A. This for 58 for Witehira Jaiton for Thailand. Didn't cause her any difficulties at all. And she takes the lead. Well, all three of the referees siding with her. So, a first ever major international championship lift, and it is. 100% successful for Jai Top. Yu <laughs> Dandan of China, the Paralympic champion in this. And Raisa Topokova of Ukraine. World champion three years back. Decent lift it was by Jaiton at 58. But the weights are going to increase dramatically. Thank you. The 70 kilos for their first attempt from Philippines. 
Next to go for the Philippines, Michelle Guion. The Asian Games silver medalist in Incheon and Korea three years ago and six in the Paralympic Games in London. And she's aiming for 70. Straightness issues there is no lift. All three going against. Referees here Joy Shared of Britain, Maria Malay of Romania, and Martin Dyson of the Netherlands. Our first World Championships with one Paralympic Games and one Asian Para Games ready to her name aiming for 70 again in the next round for now fabulous crowds here last night to watch Mexico's second gold medal of these world championships Thank you. Maria Santos. So now for Brazil, Maria Luzinati Santos. Bronze in the World Cup of Entenegger in Hungary back in May, and seventh in the World Championships in Dubai in 2014. Previously finished sixth at the World Championships in Busan in South Korea. Uh, 11 years ago and 77 a target for the opening round Swim out from Natal up in the northeast. Maria Santos. So 77 and this for the lead. With the lead of 19 kg. Big jumps and weights in the early stages of the competition. No limits. Well, two against, one four. Boulders, please move over to 80 kilos. Ragnar, six. I don't think she was very far away from that, really. So misses out hit uh, 77, and we'll probably be aiming for that again in round two. No joy for her on that occasion. So if any of the uh, next two lifts that we'll see are successful, there's going to be a mammoth lead very early on in this women's 45 kg division. Laura Serrero. So here comes Laura Serrero from Mexico. Very, very impressive crowds here at the Ignacio Wondela Ferreira last night to see Mexico's second goal. Laura Cesaro. 
Gabriel has already been a World Championship silver medalist twice. 2002 and 2006 bronze in the last two World Championships. And three times a bronze medalist at the Paralympic Games. Sydney, Athens and Beijing. But no marks registered in the last two Paralympic Games. She's medaled at the last four World Championships and seven global medals overall. She's going for 80 in this opening round. of Mexican support as usual. So this for 80. She only had 11 seconds left on the clock there. She was leaving it quite late. Hope it wasn't rushed at the end. Well, it's two to one against. So just one successful lift so far coming from Wittira Jaiton of Thailand for 58. Seriously running out of time there. So her first attempt at 80, she has missed out in. Well, disappointment. I thought she was that far away, but coming up next is Latifa Tijani of Nigeria. Silver in the Paralympic Games in Rio. The first major championship from Abe Kutsa, national coach, Tanari. They've uh, a good team here. It's interesting that she finds herself in Group B. Her original lift was projected to be 85, and really that's how she's ended up in Group B, but she's actually now going for lift of 95, which only three athletes in uh, Group A are aiming to go higher than. Uh, they want it, obviously, at a different height. We have uh, less than a minute to go. So Tijani going for 95. Well, she's got 30 seconds to go, she goes under the bar. She's got 15 seconds left. This has been left quite late. And we're down to five seconds. No. 
So for 95, this will be a split call again. And it's 2 1 against. But you could just hear the uh, clock winding out, running out as uh, she had the bar in uh, mid lift. So that's something that's going to have to be assessed. Obviously, there was a bit of time taken in uh, adjusting the height of the bar, and that lost them a lot of time. But she um, kept her composure in terms of the timing. Still got one of the referees siding with her. A, a serious lack of time for them right at the end. <laughs> Two side referees just uh, coming over. A quick discussion. So into round two we go, and Hiromi Kobayashi for Japan. And a second attempt at 55 for her. Having missed out in round one, she wasn't that far off, but the bar was beginning to wobble whilst it was at its lowest point. So second attempt at 55 for Kobayashi then. the five who did not get a successful lift in the opening round. Only Jai Tong has managed to do that and as a result she is our leader. So Kobayashi going for the same weight of 55 then. A very impressive bronze medal at the Asian Games three years ago. And a medal to defend then. Next year in Kuala Lumpur. So for 55. It'll be a bit of red on the board. No. All red. It's all three against. So she misses out again. And that causes a bit of trouble for the Japanese lifter with just one to go. voted down even more this time around. Very difficult. So we still now, after uh, seven lifts, have only seen one successful and the athlete to manage that we're seeing next. for their second attempt from Thailand. With the error, Jai Tsong. Well, things have to change dramatically in this second round for all but this lifter. Otherwise, they're all in trouble. The only successful lift so far coming from Witiera Jai Tong of Thailand with that 58. She's going for 60. And her first major championship. No big stage nerves. Executed that. 
opening round looked very, very impressively. Potentially a good candidate, obviously, for the Asian Power Games herself next year. She's uh, shown the most composure so far of the six that we have in Group B here. successful at 58 this for 60 for Jai Tong. Solid work and that's going to go away. Well we've only had two successful lifts so far in the competition and they've both come from the same woman. Matira Jai Tong, good work. Remaining in first place, improving her standing. You see the, uh, the, the strain of the right elbows when it was at its lowest point, and that was the case in the first round with her as well, but. And she's still our leader. Now that can obviously change quite a bit in this second round. Nobody else successful yet. Here comes Kelly Guyon of the Philippines. Missed out at 70 in the previous round. Three red lights. Going for it all again. So 70 for the lead, it should be attempts for the remainder of this second round. Aiming to get into the gold medal position with Group A to follow. Right. So Gion again for 70. head-on that didn't look straight certainly with the naked eye where we are and that's going to be uh, three reds and no left Rollers, please know the word to 77 is red line 10 so she misses out again problem which probably won't be manifested very much from this angle but from the head on you can certainly see and from our vantage point to the right of the stage the bar wasn't straight at all so it has to work on that coming back at 17 the next round but it means that Watira Jaitong still leads with 60 and leading by 60 no marks from anyone else yet Maria Santos. So the return then of Maria Santos of Brazil. She was quite close to it last time with the 77. It was uh, two to one against, and Even that looked a very close run thing. She's going for 77 again. Twice finished sixth in global championships, once at the Worlds, once at the Paralympics, but they were both in the noughties.
couple of lifts in that first round as well. It took a, a long time to get up and running as well. Nobody successful apart from Wasira Jaitong. Got everything right so far. seconds left. But was that cleaner? Or did it go the other way? It went the other way. Three reds against. So remarkably of the six we've seen, still just the one lifter on the board. Jai Tong with 60 and she's going for 62 in the next round. And that's now two no lifts for Kobayashi, Gion and Santos. And that's a bit of trouble. And living in the host city, Laura Serrero for Mexico. Good crowds in again this morning here. Second attempt at 80 kg, two and against her in the previous round. Seven times major championship medalist. Three bronzes at the Paralympic Games, four medals at Worlds, two silver, two bronze. La Reina. Zapotec, queen of the Zapotecs from those ancient lands. Lives in Mexico City these days, but born in Villa de Sequila, the uh, Zapotec Empire emerged. Now, can she re-emerge onto the leaderboard here? No lift in round one. Same as five others. Real mm -hmm. struggle for almost everybody this morning. As Serrera goes into the gold medal position, if she gets this. She goes at 80. She was quite close to it last time. Wonder how close this time. Well, actually, a little bit further away. It's no lift and all three going against. We've seen that a little bit in this second round where all three lifters who had a two and decision against them in the first round head up a lot more comprehensive against them in round two and Serrero is no different. So still only one successful lifter so far and it's not Laura Serrero. A couple of attempts at 80. I can tell you in group A the lifts are due to start at 92. going up to 107. Thank you. So now to round off the second round, and if this is successful, this could be very interesting. Latifat Tijani of Nigeria. The reason she's in Group B is she'd originally been put down for 85, went for 95 instead, and she'd have been in Group A. Had that been declared a little bit earlier. But the Paralympic silver medalist in Rio last year 
behind China's Hu Dan Dan and ahead of Britain Zoe Newson who goes next going for a hundred and there's only two lifters in group A who will start off higher than this so if she gets this right she'll have blitzed the rest of group B and realistically she'll immediately be in medal contention and the world record by the way is 108 set in Rio by Hu Dan Dan this is only 8 kg below that Technically, can Tiziani do this cleanly and get into a strong lead? Jai Tong has cleared 60. This for 100. Straightness issues there for sure. She will not be given it. Three red lights against. That was uh, for a hundred, and she's missed out. And well, you can see yourself quite easily to spot with the naked eye. Tijani denied at a hundred, but clearly wasn't straight. See the left hand was uh, going up well above the right. Bit of imbalance there work on that so right now five of the six have no marks registered as we go into the third and final round and it's only with Tahira Jaiton of Thailand who's on the board with 60 well, of the 13 lifters who made their way to the stage and will be making their way to the stage. She is going to have the 12th highest weight, 12th of the 13. But if everybody else gets wiped out here in Group B, everybody gets a lift in Group A, it would be A, which would be quite a finish considering she was starting off ranked 12th in terms of the attempted weights of the first round. Now Kobayashi going for the third time for 55. The decisions against her so far, 2-1 and 3-0. She's in real, real trouble here. The Asian Games bronze medalist. Kobayashi. She's had her struggles with this already. Slowly did it. Might be in luck this time. I think she will be. Three out of three. Good lift. That's good news for her. She avoids the wipeout. And she goes into the silver medal position. And obviously we say that with the group A still to come, but considering how a lot of the lifters have fared so far, it's Probably worth mentioning the medal standings already. That was very, very careful. Nice and straight. Slow, yes, but clean. Tong of Thailand has been tremendously successful all the way so far. Attempts at 58 and 60 have been cleared. And this now for 62 to increase the lead.
saw her debut major championship has gone very well so far. She's in the gold medal position. And has been there for the first two rounds and into the third. We cannot be anything like what she was anticipating. She's obviously following the preset plan. She's gone up in increments of two, 58 to 60. And now 62. Mm -hmm. Increase her lead to seven kit G. <laughs> Up quickly, and it'll be a no. split decision, but two and against her. So it's her first unsuccessful lift. She finishes on 60, and it's been a very, very good performance from her. With those successful lifts of 58 and 60, and she is still in the lead. Even at this stage, deep in round three. And having started off with the second lowest weight of the entire competition, she's still in the gold medal position. Whether she's still in the medals once we reach the end of this round will be a big thing if she got that obviously it would only have uh, improved her standing by two kilograms it would not have been any higher than any of the subsequent attempts and the top four targets are going to be the same as they were in round two Michelle Guion of Philippines, two attempts at 70 so far and three red lights each time. So, this has uh, got to be cleaned up a bit. Jaiton clearing 60 and Kobayashi 55. And obviously, any lift we see from now on will take the lead. So here she goes, aiming go in front with 70. This is going to be a tight one. She's got it. Good Two to one. Well, that's the lead for Echelle Guyon. Bar was straight enough. From the angle that you would have seen in the head on, certainly the left. And above the right again. It was straight enough from two of the three angles. So in front on 70, goes into the gold medal position. attempted 80 and she's missed out of these all the way so far she has medaled in each of the last four world championships her weight target starting at 80 perhaps had she got the first two rounds successful she'd be looking at something around three figures by now to certainly put pressure on those in group a once the last two world championships. This would be the lead, but the weight projections for Group A, she's a good way off what's been targeted later on. But maybe this 
That's all she needs. We'll see. 80 for the third attempt from Mexico for Laura Serrero. And it's not going to be her day. No mark registered by Laura Serrero. And again, that was uh, three red lights in that for her. Anonizer. The tilt of the medal, which if we see the same repeated in group, uh, group A as we've seen in Group B, could be a lot of big names and a lot of trouble. Two big names in this group B, and Laura Serrero has been unable, unfortunately, for the host nation to add to Mexico's medal hall. Three attempts at 80 and all missed out in Mexico with two gold medals so far. Nigeria, China, Egypt won each of the other countries to gain more than one medal, China, Ukraine, and Iran. Fire was level, but and was a bit behind, but anyway, she got all the reds against her. Laura Serrero, the only lifter so far of the four who've completed, who've been wiped out. Maria Santos hoping to avoid this fate now. She's going for 81. Had originally put herself down for 77, but seeing that Laura Serrero is targeting 80 because she's got a slightly heavier body weight it's only about 150 grams something like a bar of chocolate heavier uh, she's going for 81 Johnny is still going for a hundred the lift after this lifts so far only four of them an exact quarter have been successful Here she comes at 81 and that looked a lot more confident it definitely looked a lot cleaner and she's got it three out of three and she's in the lead and look at that delight there well that was cracking and she got that absolutely spot on. So she's in the gold medal position. Kili Guion is in the silver medal position. That was fantastically performed though by Maria Santos. Straight all the way, the bar level. Not backward, arm straight. Hey! Good work, very good work by Maria Santos. She won a bronze at the Ego World Cup. Here's Santos. And she puts herself in the gold medal position for the moment. Her lead is 11. But we'll see if it changes dramatically. Latifa Tijani again of Nigeria, who's missed out with the two previous attempts. The Paralympic Games silver medalist from Rio. She lifted 106 there, and it needed a world record in round three to beat her. She actually equaled the world record with that lift of 106. Dan Dan, 
and then Houdan then had to come out the lift immediately after her lifting 107 setting the new world and Paralympic record as you know the weights were recalibrated during the previous Paralympic cycle and then decided to come out in round four and set another new world record of 108 so Tijani who started at 95 and maybe it was on her mind that if she'd been successful at 100 in the previous round this may have been one for 105 and after that who knows here she is for 100. This is for the lead. This is to put everybody in Group A under pressure. If she gets this, the competition will be very, very fascinating. But there are no guarantees. And that is a no lift. So the Paralympic silver medalist is wiped out. It was three red lights against her. And she will not be meddling here. That is bad news for her completely. You can see the upset. She was in with a massive medal chance, even out of Group B. The uh, bar was going back, and she wasn't going to move until she got the decision. Well, that's Group B done, and we only had four successful lifters out of that. Maria Santos leading in 81. Kili Guyan of Philippines with 70. With Tahira Jaitong of Thailand with 60. And Hiromi Kobayashi with 55. As we go into Group A. Well, all it needs is for the first lip lift in this group to be successful. And... That's all of Group B overtaken. It really would have been interesting had that lift of 100, any of those lifts of 100, been successful. So seven going in Group A. Plenty of major championship medalists in this. Of the uh, 13 Thank who you. started, the is to 87 kilos for the nine have won major championship medals. Samira Guerrilla. That doesn't include Samira Guerrilla of Samira Algeria, but that can obviously change here and now. Silver in the Eger World Cup event in Hungary in May from Algiers. Finished sixth of the Paralympic Games in Rio. Had finished eighth and ninth in the two previous World Championships. So her results have been improving all the time. She's starting off with 87. She would have been one of those fighting to catch up with Tijani had the lifter from Nigeria been successful with any of those attempts in Group B. Seventh yeah. for Guerrero, so. ninth, eighth, and sixth. Stop. Chronologically speaking, in the last three major global championships, and that looked very, very good Ooh. and composed. And a good lift in his three out of three. 87, and she's our new leader. I couldn't have asked any more than what she produced there. 
very successful. And Aguirre is our new leader. So Santos down into the silver medal position and Grion bronze out of group B. Attempts over 100 we'll be seeing in this first round in Group A. Guerrero, fine and successful. Excellent looking lift, nothing to worry about. Up and away. So from Ukraine, Maria. Kopika going for 93, European silver medalist in Alexin in Russia back in 2013. She's from Dnipro Petrovsk. No mark in the last Europeans two years ago in Eger. And her two previous visits to the World Championships, she's finished in sixth place. World Championships going every two years from uh, now on. Marty in two years' time, and Eger again, 2021. And the Continental Championships in even numbered years. Fifth in the Paralympics, so she's a contender at 93 here. Little wobble on the way up, and that will cost her. And it has three red lights. So she's denied, but her uh, global results have been improving all the time. Come back again at three at least. Justina Kostry. So Justina Kostry for Poland, going for 93. World and Paralympic Games silver medalist and the reigning European champion. She's won the last two European golds in Alexin and in Eger. Three world silver medals and silver at the Paralympics in Beijing in 08. Fifth in 2012 and London fourth in Rio last year and won in Eger in the World Cup. Thank you. The Bears loaded with 94 kilos for their first attempt from Indonesia. Minenga Widiasi. So for Indonesia, Minenga Widiasi. Bronze at 41 kg in Rio at the Paralympic Games and bronze in the last World Championships in Dubai. First Indonesian powerlifter to win a medal at World and Paralympic level. And Den Pazar, she'd shown her potential by finishing fifth at London 2012. Going for 94 here, which is the fourth heaviest opening round attempt in Group A, and fifth overall.
Manga Widiashi for 94. For the lead. Good. And she has the lead. A 94. Three out of three. And that'll do her very nicely indeed. Leads by seven from Samira Guerrioa. lifters out of the 10 we've seen have an opening round attempt have been successful but Widiasi has put herself in the gold medal position for Indonesia with a good fine clean lift there Also at an attempt at a world record in the Paralympic Games. Where she won bronze in this at second Paralympic Games bronze, having claimed third place also at London 2012. European silver medalist and fourth in the Commonwealth Games. And to take the lead, Zoe Newsom. Right. What do they think about that? Looks like it's going to go against. No. And it does, 2-1. Those two reds were uh, quite swift, by the way. She'll be back at 97. Colchester with the Suffolk Spartans. Committed Arsenal fan. Well, nobody's perfect. It's missed out. We'll find out somewhere along the line that Arsenal have drawn Nottingham Forest in the third round of the FA Cup. That's always a big occasion. It all happened just a few minutes ago. Liverpool Everton was the big one to come out, the big pairing. So Uriashi still in the gold medal position ahead of Guerra in second and Santos in third. Master at this, Nazmiye Muratli. The reigning European, world and Paralympic champion. She succeeded a 41 before. Two Paralympic golds in London and Rio. Two world championship golds in Kuala Lumpur and Dubai. Two European golds in Alexin and Eger. And the first lifter at the 41 kg weight. To lift over 100. At 105, this is definitely over 100. Well, here's where the competition changes drastically. She's got it, three out of three, into the lead with 105. Very powerful. Gold in the last two Paralympic Games, last two World Championships, last two Europeans. Flight bear at the closing ceremony in London. Still a bit to go. She's a bit happier now than she was in the immediate aftermath of the lift. She's got more to go. She started very high. Remember that world record's 108. And she's starting with 105.
cracking start to the competition for Nazmia Muratli. Nay Muslu. Next to go will be Guo Lingling Ling of China and 107. That's how uh, round two is going to start, but round one still to be completed. And 107 is only one kilogram outside the world record of Hu Danlan set in London. It's a cracking final whole series of world record attempts. Hu Danlan lifting 107 to win it and then Zoe Newson went to lift uh, 107 and a half. fourth round having won the bronze aiming for a world record but that lift being in round four would have had no for the bearings on the medal she missed that who came out did a 108 that's the world record and that's one kilogram heavier than what Gu Ling Ling is going for now bit of an extra weight in the tunnel as they'd on the system skipped her lift doesn't need any further soldier massage. Here comes Go Ling Ling for 107. Gold in the World Cup event, the Faza World Cup in Dubai back in February. A major championship debut. The 28 year old from Habai province. Some big targets being set straight away. It's quite a strange look before she even grabs the bar. Still plenty of time, minutes ago. for a massive start, 107. Go oh, Ling Ling. Cut it straight up and it looked good. And it is good. Three out of three, what a lead that is. Well, the world record's definitely coming under threat because that's what's next. Brilliant lift at 107 from Guo Ling Ling. And she's in the gold medal position for China. follow through straight up level as you like and we've had two lifts over a hundred Grau at 107 Nasmir Muratli 105 Round two then, and Samira Gorioa of Algeria. <laughs> Cleared 87 in the opening round to take the lead, and this now for 90. She's currently lying in fourth place and would stay there even with this. Successfully lifted 85 in the Paralympic final in Rio.
took a while to get there and wasn't straight up. Bar was going backwards, so that's a miss at 90. And it was three red lights against her as well. Big, big trouble. Marina Kapika of Ukraine. A couple of attempts coming at 93. Justina Kostrick is going to do it for Poland shortly. Or attempt to at least. Kapika missing out in round one at this weight for Ukraine. European silver medalist from 2013. Well, she's been sixth in each of her two previous world championships. She gets this. She goes four straight away. against the lifter from Ukraine, from Dnipro. So denied at 93, Marina Kapika. Spotters don't need to do anything because that's the same weights will be attempted shortly, but she really struggled there and Got 93 up, not cleanly in the first round. And that just did not work for her at all. So now, Justina Kostrick of Poland, life and soul of every party. And a much medaled lifter at every possible competition. Golden Egger this year, twice European champion four European medals overall, the other two are silvers, three world silvers, Paralympic silver. If there was anything else Poland could go and she'd medal at that as well. Kostrick for 93. And that one was a better one. She's got it at 93, two out of three. Good lift goes into fourth place. Big chance of a medal now. too far away from that in the previous round anyway. Solid lift. And that gets her off the ground for 93. At the moment, aiming for 95 in the next round, which would be a top three placing as it stands with a round and a half to go. That tiger will change if this lift is successful. Inenga with the Ashi of Indonesia. 
Cliff. 94 in the opening round, and this is for 96 for Indonesia. of Indonesia Paralympic and World Bronze in her last two global competitions and this to strengthen her position in third place in the medals by just one kilogram now ahead of Justina Kozdrik Solid and successful. Three out of three from Widiashi strengthens her medal claims. Got uh, whites all across the board from the three referees. So the bronze medal position improves a bit for her, but there's still one lifter without a mark yet to go in this second round. You can Knock her out of the medals. That did all the elements that was required. Thank you. The very good of 2017 is for their second attempt from Great Britain. Zelly And here's the women who can knock with Yashi out of the medals. It's Zoe Newson of Great Britain. Two Paralympic bronzes. European silver. She's never medaled at a World Championships before. Fourth in Kuala Lumpur in 2010. Missed out in the 2014 Commonwealth Games due to uh, classification uh, ruling, changing classifications. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the same thing happened in the 2014 Worlds. Didn't compete at that. Newson. Second attempt at 97, and by one kilogram, this to go into the bronze medal position. Looked straighter than the last one. And it's good. Two out of three her way, and she goes into the bronze medal spot. Cracking lift by Zoe Newson. Britain winning medals. Quite a number of major championships in a row on the global level. Straight up and okay. So that's Newson up and running. It knocks Widiashi down to fourth and Kustrick down to fifth. And they'll have to readjust their horizons for the final round. Nazmir Muratli of Turkey now, clearing 105 in the previous round. Well, in each of the major championships, she's won the last two titles, the European World and Paralympic level. Brilliant champion. One kg where she won gold in both Dubai and Rio. Stepping up a weight category. Really competitive this is. This is for 107. This is for the lead. The head-to-head -head with Guo Ling Ling. And it looks like she has done it. And she has three out of three as well. And that's only one. 
kilo off the world record. Clean all the way, it's a great battle for gold. Hey, there's determination for you, that was superb. And the final round is going to be cracking. Second round already is. Four successful lifts in a row in this. Close trick with the Ashin, Houston, Moratli now. Absolutely spot on. And she still holds the 41 kg world record of 104. That 107. That was Kilo off the world record by Nazmir Muratli. And now Go Ling Ling after clearing 107. Has nowhere to go after that. But to go for a world record attempt is held by a compatriot. Paralympic champion Hu Dan Dan of China and Gru Ling Ling going for 110. We're actually at the moment down for 108 in the final round, but well, that's going to change if this is successful. World record attempt in round two. She started so high with 107, and having got that, it had to be an attempt at least equaling the world record at the second round. So 110 will grow Ling Ling. For a new world record. That was sweetly done. And she has the world record in round two of 110. That changes everybody's horizons now. Brilliant, brilliant lift. And to do this so early in the competition. Patted down and hey, handshakes too, of course. In round two, you could have two more attempts at more world records if you want after that. That was absolutely fantastic. Terrific lift, and it's our second senior world record here after Alice Oluwafa Miao in. 86 kg weight division of the opening night on Saturday. 110. Go Ling Ling. And she's looking to go a lot higher in the final round. 114. 114. Here is the final round. At the moment, Miracle's looking for 108. Ratley won't need to defend a silver medal. We'll wait and see if she will challenge for the gold. And there's a three-way battle for the bronze medal. It won't involve Marina Kapika or this lady, Samira Guerra of Algeria. Oh, and guess what? Ratley and Gao both going for 114 in round three. a competition of new horizons so a three-way battle for bronze and a two-way battle for gold and this is the copper fast in sixth place for Samira Guerra of Algeria mm -hmm. that's a struggle and it'll be helped up so that'll be a no lift and she's finished in 87, sixth at best, and it'll be seventh if the next lifter is successful. That was just a bit beyond her, unfortunately. But a worthy try from the Algerian lifter who won a silver in Eger at the World Cup event there in Hungary back in May. Well, sixth Paralympic Games for her, and 
sixth right now in the world. Well, it is uh, 85 there, 87 here. Same as last time, just a bit too much, and it stalled there, and then that was it. And uh, while she was getting it on the way up, there's going to be a no lift. The spotters came in. round off her competition now with a third attempt at 93 she's missed the previous two at this weight it'll be Marina Kapika of Ukraine so currently no mark recorded by her that fate falling all the way through for Laura Serrera of Mexico looking to start an 80 and maybe head towards the 100 and that's a fan Tijani of Nigeria who went for the 100 and didn't get it if she got the 100 and nothing else she'd be now in third place Kapika third attempt 93 this is sixth place struggle but got it up but she stalled, and it's three red lights. So, no mark registered. Means that Samira Guerra finishes indeed in sixth place. Just wavered again, unfortunately. Now with both Muratli and Gao looking at 114, Nazmir Muratli is a slightly lighter body weight, 200 grams lighter than Gao Ling Ling. So if they go for the same mark, then Muratli wins in the head-to-head -head if they both get it. Muratli going for 115, and now Gao Ling Ling 160. And this is the three-way battle for the bronze. And they're all going for 98. And in terms of body weight, this is Widiashi of Indonesia, who's the middle body weight of the three. Christina Kuzdrick is slightly heavier by 500 grams. And Zoe Newsom is lighter by two kilograms. They're all going for 98. and for gold and if the gold changes hands from here more world records Linenga Widiashi of Indonesia successful at 94 and at 96 this is for 98 for the world and Paralympic bronze medalist at 98 this to go into the bronze medal position she's currently in fourth and that's as good as it's going to get no lift three reds so she finishes on 96 and it's fourth and it might be fifth for her outside the medals it's a different weight category for her than where she medaled previously which was the 41 weight division Zoe Newsom so no joint 98 there for Widiashi it's the same target for Zoe Newsom who's 
never won a world championship medal previously. Runs in the last two Paralympics. She's still only 25. Based in Suffolk in the east of England. Suffolk Spartans, a club in Colchester. So if she gets this, it's the bronze medal position that she stays in. But she is going to miss out. No Three red lights. So the attempts at 98 so far are successful. 97, her best, still in third. One more attempt at 98 to go. Zoe Newson got it at 97. One extra kilo, and she is denied. Well, she's on the brink of her first ever World Championship medal, and this is the woman in line to deny her. Dina Kostrick of Poland. Again, it's 98 to lower the bar. Don't have to put anything extra on it, though. Thank you. The first number to 98 kilos for the third of them from Poland. Justina Kostry. Here she comes. Polonia, Justina. Coming for Kostry. another major championship medal. There's been three world championship silvers. And this isn't for the silver, but bronze would mean as much. Wudiashi and Yusuf both going for 98 and missing out. Kostri lifting 93 in the second round. That has a fifth right now. This for 98 for the bronze medal. straight enough in the battle for bronze no. she hasn't three reds taking it philosophically finishes in fifth place and bronze goes to Britain and Zoe Newson gave it a good old go there few attempts at 98 what's a girl to do good try so all of those attempts at 98 unsuccessful she finishes a 93 down in fifth for Poland. But I was just going backwards a little bit. Whether that angle shows it to you, I doubt it. But from uh, our viewpoint with the naked eye, she pretty much knew as well. And there was no thought of unhappiness from her. Mind you, she might be kicking over chairs behind the stage now. We don't know that, but anyway. The world record set this morning by Guo Ling Ling from China, and it might be broken twice now in this round. This is huge. And it's a massive leap in standard. The world record going into today, 108 kg from Hu Dan Dan of China. The world record now 110, set by Guo Ling Ling. Muratli having to go for 115. Six major championship goals. Two European, two world, two Paralympic. But this is an awesome weight. She's the world record holder at 41 kg. And this is the higher weight division of 45. Two and a half tons of body weight. 115 for the lead for the gold medal for a new world record. It's too much. <laughs> well, glad that was the reaction anyway. Silver for her. Gave her a, a great go. 
but it was just too much. And it's Silva to go with all those major championship goals. Well, you've got to love a trier, and that was a valiant attempt, but she got 107, which was a brilliant lift. And 115, well, what a leap that was of eight kilos. when she knew it's not going to happen. Spotters had to get in very quickly. 110 would have matched Gu Ling Ling and uh, on the head-to-head -head would have put her into the gold medal spot, but maybe 110 would have caused the same problems. Here's our new world champion and world record holder. She's got 110. Talk about huge lifts. This is an increase of six on what she's done already today. An increase of eight on the old world record of Dan Dan. One ten was absolutely brilliant. This would be something else entirely. Still has a minute for 116 and a humongous new world record. She's already broken one today. This is a massive ask. Can she pull it off? 116. No. But she has the gold, she has the world record anyway. And Gu Ling Ling is the new world champion for China. Well, maybe one day at this weight, someone will get that. But it was eight kilos above the previous world record. China's second gold medal of these championships. And Gu Ling Ling has achieved it. Gold for China, silver for Turkey, and bronze for Great Britain, and for the latter two nations, their first medals of these world championships. Just wasn't gonna happen from here. I think she knew it straight away. There was a, a little bit of brinkmanship, you might say, in the target set by Marathi and Go. 115 and 116 respectively, they both missed out. We'll be looking to increase for the own world record with a fourth lift, the power lift. She's going to go for it again, though, in the power lift in the fourth round. She's going to go for 116 again. The competition's not done yet. Two world record sets here, and this would be for another. World records by Alice Aluafamiao of Nigeria. And Go Ling Ling of China. In winning their respective titles here. Kuje also going for a world record in the women's 41, but missed out on that. Muratli's world record. 41 kg who attempted the world record here but missed out. No world record attempt in the men's 107. Sharif Osman going for uh, breaking his own world record in the men's 59 kg but 211 and a half he missed out on. So we're getting our share of entertainment here. But it's interesting she's going for this again, considering that 
wasn't able to get the bar raised too much in the uplift a couple of minutes ago. But the power lift, the fourth attempt, going for another world record. But she obviously must feel that there was a slight technique issue. And it wasn't that it was too heavy. Back, our new world champion, Guiling Ling of China. Well, the world record staying in the nation. Increased by two kilos by Guiling Ling. Paralympic champion, Hu Dan Dan, losing her world record. Staying in China. Go Ling Ling with that 110 in the second round. Ratley and Gao were, in terms of the third round, way too ambitious. Hindsight's a great thing. Ten and one eleven respectively in round three would have done it, but obviously the fate might have been the same. So Maratli missing out at one fifteen, go at one sixteen. Here's a second attempt in the power lift, the fourth attempt for a new world record of 116. Well, she's got it up. But three reds against. At least she got it up there. A bit cleaner next time. It's achievable. So obviously it was a technique thing last time around. Go Ling Ling set the world record in round two with 110. A couple of misses at 116. But she is our new world champion for China. The silver for Turkey to Nazmia Bradley and the bronze to Great Britain and Zoe Newson. The medal presentation is on the way.